Hey guys, it's David, and today I'm going to teach you how to get that cinema-looking effect with Magic's Movie Edit Pro 15, or lower, I guess. Alright, first you're going to open paint and draw something that looks like this, with a black, kind of curvy-looking thing around the corners, and save it as whatever you want. Then you're going to want to import that into GIMP or Photoshop. Either will work, but all you need to do is blur it. I'm using a Gaussian blur on GIMP, and I'm probably going to blur it by, let's see, oh, 115, uh, about 95. Alright, 100 exactly is perfect for this. Alright, so blur it by 100, and you should get that. Now, you're going to want to save it in GIMP as a bitmap image. Uh, just name it whatever you want. I'll just call it awesomeness. Alright. Now save it. Uh, yeah, you don't have to do any advanced options on that. Just save it. Alright, now you're going to want to open Magic's Movie Edit Pro. I have 15. And you're going to want to have your video in here that, well, I'll just use my uh, effect video I had, I just posted earlier. And import. Adjust. Alright. Now I have that. I've got to fix this a little. So I can see what I'm doing. Alright. Now you should have that picture saved somewhere where you can easily find it. So what you're going to want to do is import that into Magic's Movie Edit Pro. Import that and put it at the bottom. Put it in whatever track is left. And now you're going to see this. Um, this is a problem right now. Just because you can't see it. So what you're going to do is click on effects. And then video effects in chroma key. This is like a green screen effect. And click white. Now it's going to look kind of like that. Which is not what we want. So you're going to want to adjust the fading range and threshold until you can't see any white and it looks really, really good. Like that. Alright. Now, uh, it should look pretty good. Like that. No, oh, I still have a little bit of white there that I have to fix. If you have any extra white, just go back and just fix it. Like that. There. Looks good. It's a little small, but you can play around with it. And now you're going to want to go to color. And this is what really makes the cinema effect. You're going to want to set the colors to a darker blue. And you should be able to... Oh, whoops, sorry. You want to set the... Oh, I messed up. Alright, select your... And i got to do this again. Sorry, guys. First tutorial with everything, so it's kind of new to it. Alright, now select your actual video and put the colors on the darker blue. This is what really gives it that cinema looking effect and really sells it. You can see this a lot on people who make short films to Adobe After Effects, uh, but this looks just as good. Uh, I have it in my previous video if you want to go check it out. Um, yeah. So please subscribe and I post your video responses below of your video. And yeah. See you guys in the next tutorial.